Thanks all for those kind words. You've done something truly amazing today, something absolutely special. It's that afternoon, you're not down big or both ladies and gents, family and friends. To those that have travelled far, thanks for making it on time. Even you calm out, you've done well. I'd like to say a few words on behalf of myself and my wife. Yeah. Yeah. Before I spend the next 40 years listening. It's very military the way you deliver in that. It's my aim tonight to get you as drunk as possible so you don't remember anything my best man Alex here has to say. <laughs> Oh, by the looks of table six, you're already doing, doing a, a good job of that. Uh, so if ever we can make sure the glasses are filled, because it's going to be quite a few toasts. Um, I had a quick look on Google for some guidelines before I was doing this. And uh, the most important thing it said, don't make your speech any longer than the best man's sex life. <laughs> and judging from what Amy is this has told me, I think I've overdone it already. <laughs> <laughs> right, everyone here has been in a taxi and they know that all that generic stuff, they have to get out of the way, you know. Um, uh, have you been busy? Um, what time do you finish? Uh, what's it like out? So basically like a groom's job is all that generic boring stuff as well. So I'm just going to get out, out, the, out of the way, all that boring generic stuff out of the way first. So first of all, I'd like to say thanks to Debbie, thanks to my dad, thanks to all the bridesmaids, horses and stags. Cheers, thank you. Uh, I'd just like to let, uh, make my first toast to absent friends. As you know, this is a bit of a military wedding. Uh, give us a shout, lads. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, our regimental motto is quiz separate a bit, which means who should separate us. Um, so if you can all raise your glasses to those who can't be present today. Sam. To have some friends. Sam Hall. Sam Hall. Quiz separate a bit. Sam Hall. <laughs> quiz separate a bit. <laughs> Uh, not long ago, got down on one knee. Take it. <laughs> Cheers, thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Not long ago, I got down on one knee. Then I got down on two knees and begged Alan to pay for this wedding. <laughs> 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 Joke to say, I'd just like to thank Debbie and Alan for letting me marry your daughter. You really have brought up an amazing, beautiful, um, intelligent girl. Thank you. Um, <laughs> it's the best, absolutely best present I could ever imagine. And I'll thoroughly enjoy them wrapping that present tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, just take note, if you have a struggling friend for a present for you, give them half, this is how you do it. Thank you very much. It's 20 quick down the bar as well. Thank you. So, I'll we'll raise your glasses to Alan and Debbie. Amazing, handsome son. <laughs> <laughs> David has, has yeah. done well. <laughs> uh, David, my brother, is just there. Give us a wave. Give everyone a wave. Yeah. John. The first ten years, uh, we fell out with each other, and then after that, we got on like a house on fire. It must have been hard watching a better version of yourself growing up. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll raise your glasses to my brother. Oh, David. 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 Thank you, brother. Well, that's it. We'll do one for my sister as well. Sarah, give us a wave. <laughs> Dad, I remember you saying once when I was a child, you always advise me the best way you can. Never ask me to do anything illegal. I love you. <laughs> oh, great. 
It's one of the people out there as well. Here's everyone. Come on, I love you. you just as much. I hope it made you proud today. Thank you both for being here. I'm glad you made it. Aww. Thank you for looking smart today and being by, by my side, making sure everything runs smoothly. And thanks for the total opposite in Budapest. <laughs> <laughs> it was unforgettable, so thank you, Alex, for getting us all there in one piece and returning us in pieces. <laughs> I could tell it was going to be a, a laugh from the moment we got kicked off a fly before we even got there. <laughs> Enjoy all of the raise your glasses to the uh, bushes and stags. Cheers, lads, thank you. I've got a flight in and Rise, Mason, and Hens, you all look stunning today. Thank you all for uh, helping Holly to organise a special day, especially Ash, Ma Ash the Maid of Honour. Thank you. <laughs> However, let's not to get too carried away. I'm unthankful for getting that piece, of, convincing her to get that piece of cheese down over my arm. Hen do. <laughs> She'd like to raise your glasses to the hens and the rise maids. <laughs> Big thanks to Alex here for being uh, with me whenever I need him, never judging me, constantly taking the piss, pretty pressuring me into one last pint and always giving me sound advice. I couldn't ask for a better friend and a better best man. That's mine. Yes. Carol. Oh. <laughs> You're itching, itching for me to wrap this up so you can get online and get some online bingo as well. <laughs> First, I need to thank you for making me feel um, part of the family from the moment I met you. Thank you very much. Also, a massive thanks from me and my wife for our beautiful cake. Which we've been making for over six months. RSVPs back. It was quite late one night and I got a call from an unknown number that I didn't recognise. Anyway, I answered it. Hello? I said, hello? You alright? I cannot come. I said, sorry, I beg your pardon. I can't come. At this point, I didn't know if he had a medical problem or if he was a <laughs> So anyway, uh, he's, he's carried on saying, I can't come. Uh, sorry, I don't think I can help you, help you, my friend. He said, there's nothing you can do, it is what it is. Anyway, turned out to be a cousin from France that could come, just not to this wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Last but not least, though, the main attraction, Den Holly. <laughs> Just take a second to admire how beautiful she looks today. Stand up. 
about whether or not I would uh, ever get married. So a couple of years ago, I made an advert in the local paper. It simply said, wife wanted. I was quite surprised with the influx of messages I received. And in the first week I had about 100 replies and they all said the same thing, have mine. <laughs> We've been through a lot together. Um, I've learned it's all about compromise. Now, if there's any single lads in the room that don't know what that means, I'll explain. When me and Holly first got together, she said, I really want a cat. I said, we can't have a cat. I'm allergic to them and they put them in boxes. I said, it's, it's not happening. Uh... Anyway, we spoke about it for a while, we compromised, we got a cat. <laughs> Holly was also struggling to find her wedding dress. After looking at a lot, a lot of places, she, um, she said she found the perfect one. It needed a bit of altering slightly, um, and it was way out of our budget. I said, look, I'm sorry, it's just not going to happen. I just, we just haven't got uh, money to afford it. Anyway, we talked about it. When we compromised, Holly got the dress. And <laughs> <laughs> she looked absolutely amazing today. Thank you for that. Worth more than every penny. Um, as you all know, I proposed to Holly on May of Bay in Thailand. But what, what I was, what was, I thought about what I was going to say for weeks, and I had a lot, a lot to live up to after some of the soppy love films that we watched uh, together. I've come to the conclusion that Hollywood has ruined chivalry, ruined the chivalry of proposal. So I went for a more honest approach. Holly, could you just stand up and uh, explain to these lovely people how I asked you? <laughs> so I'll set the scene. We're on May and May. And, and um, made me look in the distance and he went, turn round. It was on one knee. I said, due to you being obsessed with me. Will <laughs> <laughs> you marry me? I was like, no. <laughs> I cried my eyes. Oh. That's the proposal. So, yeah, clearly I wasn't wrong, was I? <laughs> Ollie's proved that um, getting married is an extremely easy job for a bride because she's literally done everything. I think you'll agree she's done a fantastic job. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. My best man. It's my speech next, right? <laughs> so if we need a quick nap, we need to go to the toilet or go to your room for 10 minutes, then now will be an absolutely perfect time. If you decide to stay and listen to what this idiot has to say, totally, totally disregard everything. Um, if you still have any doubts, I'll be in the bar later. But before I hand over to him, I'd just like to I'd like everybody to raise your glasses to go that I'm going to enjoy trying to work out for the rest of my life. <laughs> Cheers, bride and groom. Well done, John. Thank you. 